I've been seeing these adorable etched dry goods jars all over the place. Pottery Barn, West Elm, you name it. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own custom etched dry goods jars. You will need a glass jar, etching cream, brush, masking tape, etching stencils, ruler, sharpie, scissors, drop cloth, paper towel, gloves, and water. Step one, choose your materials. Today I'm going to do a jar for flour. I'm also going to add these cute lacy accents on each side. You can really personalize these jars any way you want. And you can pick up this etching cream at a local craft store. Make sure to wash and dry your jar prior to starting. Step two, place stencils. Using masking tape and a ruler, tape down a straight line around the jar. Place your stencil pieces on that line, pressing down hard. Using the Sharpie and your ruler, we're going to mark a line around our jar and then we will apply the masking tape. So I'm just going to go up about two inches and mark a little dot here. Then I'm going to go over to the side so that when we lay our tape down, it will be even. And the same thing on this side. Once you have that marked, we're going to add a strip of masking tape and you're just going to lay that along the line that we've created. And then I'm just going to use my ruler to make sure that is all even. Once you have your masking tape on and everything is even, we're going to grab our etching stencils and we're going to spell out the word flower. Make sure to press down hard and place them close together. Once we have that on, we're going to grab these cute lacy accents and we're going to put them on each side. You're going to have to take some of this tape off because this stencil is a little bit bigger. And then just line that up so that it's even. And do the same thing on the other side. Once our stencils are on, we're going to cover the surrounding area with more masking tape. So I'm just taking these extra pieces that I have down here, just covering everything. And once that is covered on all sides, we're going to cut thin strips to place in between each letter. Don't be afraid to apply more tape. You wanna make sure that any little spaces that might be exposed are covered or the etching will eat away at that glass. Step three, etch. While wearing gloves, carefully dab on the etching cream until it completely covers a stencil. You should barely be able to make out the design. Etching cream is really easy and safe to use, but remember it is acid, so you should wear gloves and keep some water nearby in case you get any on your skin. I'm just using my sponge brush and we'll start applying the etching cream. And it doesn't need to go on smooth, just kind of dab it on so that it's thick. There's enough acid on there to eat through the glass. And I am using the jar's lid and the etching cream to hold the jar into place so that it doesn't roll around with the etching cream on it. And make sure you apply a generous amount. You want to make sure to cover it really well. You don't want to be able to see the design through. Step four, rinse and remove. Wait five minutes or less depending on the manufacturer's instructions. And then wash the jar off under running water. Make sure you are wearing gloves when you rinse the jar. Once your jar is thoroughly rinsed off and all the etching cream is gone, carefully remove the tape and stencils. Make sure you are still wearing your gloves for this step just in case there is a little bit of the etching cream left. I've already rinsed off my jar, making sure to get all the etching cream off and dried it really well with a paper towel. And now I'm going to carefully remove the tape. So I'm just going to start peeling that off. And be really careful with your stencils because you can reuse them. Once your stencils and your tape is removed, grab a paper towel and dry that off one more time. The water likes to get stuck under the tape. And you're done. This craft only cost me $17 to make. 
I love how this turned out and you can put anything you want on here like coffee and sugar. You could even make a set of jars to store your makeup and jewelry in. Subscribe to The Mom's View so you can see all of our DIY projects as soon as they come out. If you have an expensive project you want to see us make for less, leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time. Bye!